just saw us ripping the rover off the back of the trailer because it was miserable to get on there and off. Um, so we ended up getting the cultivator there. So I'm on the fence that that'll clean up pretty nice and plus I don't have one so we might just keep that. So James I'm sure you're watching we only scored one three-point hitch complete and uh, the rods go through the frame I think two of those and then one rear hitch plate with the extender hand, handle on it. And we got the 10-inch plow, which the hood's already completely destroyed on Trusty. That's why he got that hood. It's got a bunch of dents, so one more won't hurt him. It actually didn't do anything when I set it on the hood. So we got the 10-inch plow, and that's the center link for the complete three-point I got in the deal. What else? Do we have anything else right, we brought here? That's where your sickle bar's at now. It's on the bandit, just to store it. So when you walk in here, oh, got me, you know, so that's three point hitch mountain. Thanks to the Mezzoli brothers. So probably when the weather gets nicer and after Andy's tractors, I'll start cleaning them up and putting them on stuff. So we've got a, how many, uh, we'll just say five. I think there's five there. Maybe six. And we got your plow back there, and then we got Glambo chilling. That's about it. The other stuff's down in the junkyard now because I don't have any room for it. And plus, it is literally junk, and it's covered in duck poop. It's a duck poop debacle. That's where the droopers came from. So, just give you a little quick update. That's what we got, and uh, a lot of that stuff's for sale. The roper stuff, and there'll be pictures showing all the other stuff we got. So, let's close this up.